everybody, I just got back. Do I look tired? <laughs> no, I, I am very happy to be here, but I, at the weekend I was in Canada. Where's that, I hear you ask? <laughs> I was, I was in Canada. A lot of, now, I think it's only fair that I tell you, because a lot of Americans don't know about Canada, and they're like, Canada, Craig, where is that place you keep talking about? Well, it's to the north, and it's full, it's a magical land where uh, the, um, they, they have beavers there, and these, they do! They have beavers there, and these beavers build magical castles, and inside the magical castles live, uh, you know, the, these, uh, the, the vampires from Twilight. <laughs> they live there with magical beavers, and everyone's friendly, and they say sorry, and you're like, what are you saying sorry for? And they're like, well, I don't know, sorry. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Anyway, I like Canada. It's a lovely place. I had a, ni I had a nice time there at the weekend, I hope. And... <laughs> Shut up! And... And... Does my tie look a bit long tonight? Do my... It looks a bit long this time, a bit long and straight. <laughs> That's never going to work on this show. <laughs> Is it too long? It's almost like it's pointing to... <laughs> Bulls. No, I'm 49 now, they're lower. <laughs> Do you know, I'd like to put something heavy on the end of my tie to make it swing more convincingly. <laughs> Why do you hear dirtiness in everything that I say? Anyway, look, um, uh, I, I, I know I've been uh, not cussing, but uh, I thought I might tonight, so... Uh... <laughs> God... Wait, come on. Gosh darn. <laughs> I cannot be tamed. <laughs> Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Straight Talk. Cut your cell phone bill in half and feel richer. That was fantastic. That was really convincing. I'm overjoyed. Your acting abilities are improving every night. <laughs> Thanks, paid interns. <laughs> Craig, are you saying your audience isn't real? That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> no, they're real. I've touched them. <laughs> I touched them in a special place. <laughs> Studio. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. Yeah, it, is. it is. It is actually a great day. It's a Memorial Day where we honor the men and women who've uh, defended our country. Thank you. And we celebrate their service with uh, sales on mattresses. <laughs> All across the country today, it's a great day to get a deal on a mattress. <laughs> America, America's military is as tough as nails, unlike our mattresses. <laughs> the car dealerships also have a big Memorial Day sales. They bring out the heavy artillery. They get the blowy guys out front doing that thing. <laughs> and memo memo on memo Memorial Day... Thank you. 
I, I'm turning into f f f f Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> On Memorial Day uh, weekend, they put extra blow in the blowy guys. Do you know that? <laughs> By the way, there's a place in Hollywood Boulevard where they've got blowy guys and mattresses, but <laughs> it's not a mattress store. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> Perhaps I've said too much. <laughs> Here at CBS, the network has its annual Memorial Day tradition of not giving me the day off. <laughs> That's right. Our network motto is CBS cares about making the immigrant work in the holidays. Sometimes, sometimes I just wish there was a way of pre-recording the show so that I wouldn't have to come in on Memorial Day, but no. No, I would never work. It would never work. And let me tell you why it would never work, because this audience wouldn't stand for it. <laughs> Craig, there's something you're not telling us. <laughs> oh, there's a lot I'm not telling you. <laughs> Most people had a three-day weekend. The only thing better than that is a four-day weekend. Unfortunately, there's only one four-day weekend a year. That's Thanksgiving, stupid pilgrims. <laughs> Would it have killed you to invite those dinners, the, 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 the Indians over for dinner twice? <laughs> in the same year? <laughs> You're right, it wasn't that good. <laughs> anyway, today we had a Memorial Day a cookout right here at CBS. That's right, the network brass surprised us with some fresh meat. Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> No, I, I do love the, the, uh, the barbecue, though. I love standing by that hot grill and just my Speedos. Once, I burned my wiener doing that. <laughs> and, now, let me be clear. By wiener, I mean penis. <laughs> Craig, that's not a double entendre. That's just an entendre. <laughs> Those sparks flying off the grill, though, they can really sting. But these days, it's the only way I can feel anything. <laughs> Hosting a barbecue here in Los Angeles is always tough because there's a lot of vegetarians here and the pescatarians as well. Pescatarians are vegetarians who eat fish. Well, I'm a vegetarian who eats fish and cows and pigs and chickens. Uh, that's right, I'm a vegetarian, but I like a bit of meat. Uh, I like the fish, chicken, beef, giraffe. Oh, yeah, nothing like celebrating Memorial Day by throwing a giraffe on the grill. <laughs> I use a lot of the barbecue sauces. There's a lot of different kinds, though. You never know how hot it's going to be unless you can tell by the name of the sauce. You know, like the devil sauce or five alarm fire or Fabio. <laughs> That's the hottest sauce of all. <laughs> That's so on a spicy meatball. <laughs> Craig, we didn't understand what you were saying. That's Italian, isn't it? Si. <laughs> It's interesting how barbecue bring out the regional differences. Like, northerners call mustard and ketchup condiments, southerners call them fixins, and here in California, they're called too many calories, mister. <laughs> I'll just have the meat. <laughs> There's a... <laughs> There's one thing that you never want to do, though, when you're throwing a Memorial Day barbecue is run out of meat, because that's happened to me. I was forced to take emergency measures. And, <laughs> and that, that, my dear friends, is how I went from six ferrets to five. <laughs> do we have a recent picture of me with my ferrets? Sorry, Sparky, <laughs> but you were delicious. It's a joke. I didn't really eat a ferret. Oh. <laughs> a lot of people go on vacation on Memorial Day. That means a lot of people uh, end up stuck in traffic. Now, the, the trick to getting away is to go nowhere else is going, somewhere peaceful where no one will bother you. May I suggest a million-dollar compound in Pakistan? <laughs> Memorial Day is uh, uh, the unofficial start of summer. I love it. Nothing makes me happier than getting into a pool on a warm summer night and just playing with my floaties. Bulls. <laughs> yes. Bulls. Yes. 
The start of the summer means great people watching here in LA. They're checking out the passerbys and their halter tops and little bikinis. The women aren't bad either. They look good too. <laughs> Time to sell out to the man. <laughs> Is it commercial break time? Is that what you're well saying? Well said. Oh, I see. It's commercial break time. That's what you're saying. Well, don't be vague. Don't work it. We don't work in double entendres here. There's no, no subtext. We say what we mean. We don't say wiener. We say penis. <laughs> so if you imagined any kind of double entendre here, it's your own filthy mind. <laughs> There's no subtext here. Everything's exactly as you see it. <laughs> what? What? No. Don't you applaud because you're uncomfortable. <laughs> what do you think that you see? <laughs> do you see a grown man being coquettish? <laughs> Does that excite you? <laughs> Or creep you out. <laughs> Did you breastfeed, Senator? <laughs> Toughened your nipples, didn't it? Put the lotion in the basket. And I think that's our serial cover, uh, serial killer stuff covered. Uh, serial cover stuff killered. <laughs> I'll go to a commercial break when I'm good and ready, Mister, and not before. <laughs> what time is it, Jeff? Time to sell out to the man. We were right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I know what you're thinking, Craig. If you're wait, wait a minute, where did all these come from? If we're just uh, coming back, I was just warming up during the commercial break. I was, you know, going through some emails, picking out the right ones to see what ones you folks wanted to hear, and these are the ones that I figured you wouldn't want to hear. <laughs> this is from Kelly in Providence, Rhode Island, who says, uh, "Dear Craig, I just finished reading Lord of the Rings to my six-year-old son." <laughs> As his, as his bedtime story, what should I pick next? Oh, I don't know How about Dracula. <laughs> oh, I've got one. Um, Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> no, the Dice Man. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> Six-year-olds love a bit of that. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> Six-year-old son, Lord of the Rings. I still haven't lit read Lord of the Rings. <laughs> you know that's not true. All right. This is from Sam in Bloomington, Indiana, who says, uh, Dear Craig, I am playing Hamlet this summer at my local theatre, and I'm excited. If you had the chance to play a character from Shakespeare, who would it be? You think you're great, don't you? <laughs> I'm playing Hamlet this summer. Good for you. I think the implication being that you're playing Hamlet and I'm stuck here talking to a 1950s camera in a basement with some hobos. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, mister. Let me tell you. <coughs> to be or not to be? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or not. <laughs> Well said. Thanks, Jeff. I think I got my point across, and if I had a point, it, I sure as hell made it right there. <laughs> this is from James in uh, in uh, Georgia. Uh, he's uh, he's a gull. <laughs> uh, James said, uh, "What's that gull doing in this picture, by the way? <laughs> Singing." Dear Craig, every morning I wake up and watch cartoons instead of the news. The news is often too bleak. Is this juvenile of me? <laughs> you just announced on TV that you smoke marijuana. <laughs> That's why I didn't say your address, because your address is there too, and I could have said it, and law enforcement could pounce. 
because that's what they're looking for, guys who are waking, baking, and watching cartoons. <laughs> the threat to our way of life. <laughs> oh, dude, Foghorn Leghorn's so awesome. <laughs> well, we're out of emails. I don't know what we can do now. <laughs> Another commercial break? God, you people are so greedy. All right, then, we'll take another commercial break. But when we come back... Who knows? <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Memorial Day show. <laughs> No, 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 it wasn't to get you to do that. It was, I was being the bloy guy outside the car dealership. <laughs> it's like you don't even understand me. You're not even listening! <laughs> My first guest is an actor slash musician. It's not slash, because he's not an actor. <laughs> It's an actor slash musician. He's got a new album, The Goldberg Sisters, which is in stores now. Please welcome Adam Goldberg, everybody. Adam Goldberg. All right. It's good to see you. Man, I the... like this. It's really nice. It's like a tactile, like, right? You know what it's like? It's like the uh, it's like the I fabric feel... on a lazy. Did boy. you move these? What? Did I feel I... like they're. I feel like I'm doing Commedia dell'arte. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I, know. I, I don't talk to French, I know. pal. But if that means your seat's still facing sideways, then I yeah. I like to open the show with really obscure theatrical references. And the audience also likes it when I open the show with obscure theatrical references. Well, they were already pretty weak, but you finished them off. Uh, <laughs> that was it, huh? The 22-minute mark. Yeah, I don't know what happened. They just kind of fell away. It's, you said something in fine. French, and they're like, screw this guy. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> now, i got to tell you something. I'm a, I'm a bit worried about your album. Okay, I understand. It's very small. It is, it is. We tried to make... We tried to make it larger, but uh, it doesn't fit into the computer that way. We tried to make like the, the wax. Yeah, the, the wax cylinders. With a little... With a giant... It's uh, got the rings on it and that kind of thing. You know, uh, uh, records. You exactly. almost touched my penis there. Do you know that? <laughs> no, What's I'm that? serious. No, I mean, like, I know you went to just kind of like go like that, but All what right. happened was that you... I was sitting a little closer than you thought. Greg. And you just kind of like nudged, nudged. I'm, lo I'm looking now. You, you nudged the tip, dude. I'm looking now. You did. And you did, and I was like, whoa. Let, let me just say that you're being very, very liberal with, uh, with your assessment of it, because I'm looking, I was looking minutes ago, and I gotta tell you folks, no, nowhere near it. I, Enjoy your drink. <laughs> Subliminal message. Enjoy your show. I have no idea what that means. That's all right. Uh, you know what you got to do with your album? You, you can't keep slapping it because it's a, there's a CD in there. If you're going to slap it, you got to take the CD out. You're not going to be able to listen to it. No. Look, oh, no, no. It even, look, it even says disc. For, for people like you, disc, poster. And you're like, in there, and there. See, there's a little arrow and everything. Oh, there's, a, there's a poster in here, too? Yeah, yeah, but it's on the side where it says poster. Well, let me see the poster. Yeah, it's going to sure. be a pretty small poster to fit in here. Unless... <laughs> Right. The Goldberg yeah. Sisters, by the way, is there something you want to tell us? Uh, well, <clears throat> this is your poster? <laughs> that's, that's it? That's your poster? Uh, Wait! Let me judge you harshly. <laughs> this, this is your poster? Because actors who make music never get judged. So, no, it's good. Enjoy yourself. No, 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 to be fair, I never brought that up. You brought that up. Now, listen, the music is Crikey. terrible, but... Oh, man. But, <laughs> What did I say? I don't cuss on the show anymore. Oh. Stop that? Yeah. I was just on here in January. Yeah, I stopped last week. Are you kidding? So what? <laughs> like, so you, you never say, ever say, Groggy. No. All right. But then there's sometimes, sometimes you, you I do. say it. Yeah, yeah, but during the commercial break. But that's a that's a that's a bad that's a, that's a bad one though. You know what I mean? With that word? Yeah. I mean, because I feel like eh. tootsie fruitsy. Not so bad. But you know what I mean? I, they're, they're, nobody's gonna know. They're gonna tootsie fruitsy all right, over right, you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
What do I get? Because a long time ago, I think I got a League Vault, but I don't yeah, know yeah. if they still personalize it no, for me. No, I think it's a Tootsie Fruitsie, and we got a Tootsie Fruitsie, and, uh, and there's a rainbow flag and when you uh, that goes, uh-oh, like that. Yeah, oh, really? Like, hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I like that one. See, these are, these are some... These are, and these are the words to your song? These are some, those are the words to the song. Oh, no, that's always... Anyway, we, could, we can move we can. No, move, no, can let me on. look at some of the words to the songs. Yeah, this is a... Which I'm finding this really... Moving. You know, I turned... We had the car turn around to pick up the CD. I wasn't going to bring the CD. No, you know, no, they, they right. called no. us. Did you have the CD? And I, no, no, we, no. We had, I'm, I like We this. had the car turned around Ooh, just, just so I could Look at you be with your things lit. to say about stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, it's good, actually. I know it's not fair to read out lyrics without the music. No, no, no. Because it, things sound a little odd, you know, when you... Really? Do you, you think? No, no, they're good. No, no, no let's, find, let's find something. All right, then. Let's find something. Um... <laughs> I try to. I try to. Do you have any music? Maybe I can read along. Do you have any? Got, well, I'll music? Make, no, no, I'll do some. Hold on. Okay, there you okay. Go. Right. Okay. okay. Ready? Okay. Ready? Tell me when you're ready. Okay, go. Photography, Adam Goldberg. Design, Roxanne Daner. Legal, Doug Mark. Mark Music and Media Law. Thank you, thank you, Kevin Wordis, Francois Moray, Pius. Copyright 2011. This is terrible. This is terrible. I, uh... Don't you dare. It sounds much that. better. It sounds a lot better when I sing it, though. No, no, no. It'll be good. You were just reading out the credits to the album, weren't you? No, no, no. That, yeah. those, were, those were some lyrics. I, 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 I find legalese to be very sort of emotionally kind of, uh... You know, sort of moving and inspiring. My, you know, my last record was called, you know, was, was this called, a record called Landy, and the title was Eros and Emissions. Uh, which is a, which is a double entendre of which you were speaking earlier. We don't earlier. do double entendres here. When we say wiener, we mean wiener. When we mean penis, we say penis. Okay, so that reminds me. I did not come prepared with an anecdote because you don't do that. I don't know if, if you know that. There's no pre-interview and you're pretty much... <laughs> you come out and you're, you're pretty well screwed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that reminds me... Um, I, you just bought a house! Uh... <laughs> We've been, we've been over this five uh, years ago, but t top at peak of the market, if anybody wants this thing. Um, <laughs> anyway, so... Did you really? <laughs> yeah, it's a long story. I was, oh, okay, I was, going through, I was having some, some, some interpersonal issues, and I found myself without a, without a home. Not homeless, but without a home in which I lived. Homeless-ish. <laughs> anyway, it was the peak of the bubble. I've been divorced twice. Yeah? Yeah. yeah how'd that go for you? Do you two, miss it? Two houses. The divorces? Yeah. Do I miss the divorces? Um, no, I don't miss the divorces. So, you ever miss the women? No. I mean, nobody's watching. <laughs> you're covering your entire face. I can't read you when you're... When, when you're... No. no. No, you don't. <laughs> so... Come on, man. You know, you know I don't like giving up personal information on the show. <laughs> Do you really... No, I don't give a Tootsie shit. Fruits. Oh! 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 Why you? Yeah, there you were. You, you, you lulled me into a false sense of security before I knew it was doing. I cussed, and now I've broken my cuss-free record of almost three shows. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's like you're it's toying a, with me, it's man. A, it's it's a, like you're toying it's with me. It's a sad me. day. Oh! It's a sad Crikey. day. Um, so, no, what it reminded me of, <clears throat> when you were speaking of double entendres, I'm just... I'm just I've just like, had I'm a great idea. I've had a great idea. Right. You should uh, get your band, the Goldberg Sisters, right, right mm -hmm. and bring them onto the show and play music on the show. Like a real talk show with a band on it. <laughs> Come on, man, it could work. You get, call up the guys and the band, it's, it's guys, whatever, and you call them up and you say, hey, I've got a, a gig on TV, they won't know it's this show, right. and then you just come and you, you play here. Can I tell them it's Carson? <laughs> Look, I'm not saying don't, don't right. tell them it, it, it's Carson, but they might smell a rat. Right. <laughs> T tell does, I know does, tell does Jeff still work? No, I don't think. Oh, yeah, yeah, there he is. Jeff, should I bring uh, 
my my uh, musical venture, the Goldberg Sisters, onto the program next yeah, week? Yeah, babe. Oh, well, there you are. Okay. You should you All should right. bring you bring the band on and well, we tell have them. to practice. That was the thing. The thing is, there's no there's no band per se. In other words, I like I I, I make the music. Right. And then with different people, but there's no like, there's no like, you know, oh, we're playing over, you know, we're playing at uh, uh, the Troubadour, you know, the Peach Pit, right? Right, the exactly. Peach Pit, oh, right, the Peach exactly. Pit, even big, uh, bigger than the Troubadour, right. yeah. But um, but we did play a couple weeks ago at a at a, at a show uh, for. But wait, how could you if there was no band? Well, because I got I I I hastily assembled people and we right. had four rehearsals. Hastily and we assembled people like Doctor Frankenstein. <laughs> You, what you're saying then is your band is yeah. made up of body parts yeah. of dead people that you have reanimated? Yeah. This could be the greatest thing in rock and roll ever! Let's do it! Yeah! Next yeah. week! Yeah. Goldberg Sisters! Yeah! So, we'll do that then. Okay. The Goldberg Sisters will All be right. on the show next week, and they're made entirely uh, of reanimated uh, dead bodies. That's right. Especially, uh, especially uh, the keyboard player. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Um, return my emails. Yeah. Um, but, uh, all right. We're out, of, we're out of time. We're out of time. But you, d d come back. Do we have a date next week? Yeah, we do. I was about to tell you about the snake in my therapist's office. All right, fine. No, that's fine. Why I'll, do I'll tell you, I'll what? Song, you know what? I'll write a song write about Write a song it, about it. And, and I'll sing it next week. Yeah, right, okay. okay. All right, now quickly, uh, mouth organ or awkward pause? Uh, I would prefer an, an awkward pause. <laughs> okay. That is too much. And it plays piccolo. I can't believe that. You, you would think that just playing piano was enough. I'll spot. guest is a very beautiful actress. Oh, come on, Craig, can't we have Adam Goldberg back for another eight minutes? <laughs> no. <laughs> My next guest is a very beautiful actress. She's in a new film called Bad Teacher, which is in theatres June the 24th. Take a look at this. <laughs> I can use that. Shut the front door. Yeah! Please welcome the lovely Lucy Punch, everybody. Lucy Punch. Hello, lovely Lucy Hello. Punch. May I say, the lighting in here is awful because your oh. red hair looks like a different colour. Uh, well... Good, thank goodness for that. Yes, I had a very thick red wig for that role because you can't have two blonde women in, a, in the same movie. It's oh, really? A role. <laughs> oh, really? Well... <laughs> See, I've seen a lot of movies with more than one blonde woman in it. Well, maybe in those kind of movies well, you Well, a different type but, of yeah. movie, maybe yeah. you're right, yeah. 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 You look lovely, though, everything's, well, everything's working. Everything's working, yes. <laughs> it is, yes, it you're is. You're English, though, are you? Yes, yes, I was... I had... A, Red hair and a different accent in the movie. Wow, it's almost as if you were acting being someone else. It's so weird, isn't it? Wow. Yes. What part of England are you I'm from? I'm from London. Ooh, well, I used to live in London. You did? Yeah, I lived Where? in Islington. Oh, okay. I'm from Putney. That's in the south, isn't it? Southwest, yes. Oh, dear. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I well, know it's, it's nice. It's, it's quite... No, Putney's it's lovely. Green. Yeah, it's, it's a nice part of London, I guess. Rhymes with chutney. Chutney? R it rhymes with chutney. That's oh, the only good thing chutney, I could yeah. think of chutney's about a, it, which is delicious. A, but... Chutney is a spicy... Um... Oh, do we have chutney Do you have America? chutney in America? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. No? Yeah, yeah, I think we do, actually. Oh, OK. Yeah, do that thing with your tongue again, will you? 
Oh, stop it. No, I'm just saying, no. will you do it again? <laughs> I just I was thinking about a movie I saw with two blonde oh, women really? in there. Oh, are you? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, so do you live in America now? Or you still I live in do. London? I live here. I've been here five years. Really? Yeah, I have. In Los Angeles yes. or New York? In LA. All oh, right. Yeah. It's, but I... it's a bit of a dump, isn't it? Com it's nice compared to London. Oh, the no, weather. No, 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 no. I, lo I love uh, certain areas of the world, but uh, LA, I mean, I love America. I'm very happy in America, but LA, I think, is a bit. You think so? Have you seen the rest of America compared to this dump? I mean, really? I love LA. You really I, love, like I do, it? I do. I like the people. I think it's a very. It's what the hell am I hearing? <laughs> it's very friendly. I always think if you're, if you're to move to London, you know, people, English people are quite reserved and not. Right. So open. I always yeah. found them very friendly, English people. You do? Yeah, 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 I did, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, never mind that. And, uh, no, I liked it. I liked it living. So people are friendly here. Yeah, I think so. Do you live in West Hollywood? Yes, I do. Ah, see, that's what it is. Oh, that's what okay. it is. No, Where aren't they friendly? Well, no, Where they're, they're very friendly, friendly. In, the, in the gay part of town. It's great. Yes. The streets are clean. The yeah, people are friendly. I love it. No, it's a, but listen, if I was a woman on my own moving into a new town, I'd move straight into the gay neighborhood. That's where you want to yes. live. Because you know, it's safe and, yeah. And, the, and beautiful men. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yes. A certain unattainable quality mm -hmm. about them as mm -hmm. well, probably. <laughs> Have you been to San Francisco? I have been to San Francisco. It's nice up there, isn't it? Is. It's yeah. very nice. It's Bunch of unattainable nice. men up there yeah. as well. <laughs> I like that. What do you like to do in California then? Do you ride horses? Do you have a kangaroo? Something like I that? don't do anything. I'm not a very beachy person. No? That's like I feel like the reason to be in LA. I've recently tried to st t start cooking, which has been cooking. No, the cooking's a good thing. That's because you, you could do yeah, that. In, I was uh, eating out too much, and I thought I'd try um, to cook more, but it's been disastrous. Well, what so. have you been cooking then? I, Pasta. I. That's not a difficult that's thing easy. to cook. I know. It was. I r ruined it. I tried to make Israeli couscous. I burnt it twice. I set the tea towels on fire. I, not, not, it's a disaster. You don't cook. You use pots. You, tea towels are for afterwards and cleaning up. They're I not know, for the cooking. They were too close. They were too close to the stove, and then they caught on fire. And I was off in the other. I got distracted. The phone rang, and I came back, and there were flames. And no more. No more cooking. No more cooking. Your house went on fire. No, the tea towels. Not my house. Just right. the tea towels. I mean, it, the house could have gone on fire. Had but, you not uh, attended had I to not, it? Yes. You, did you call the fire brigade? No, I screamed. Um, <laughs> I went, ah, ah, screamed, and then I realised that wasn't going to happen at gonna all. That's not going to take that the fire was, out. That no. did not put the fire out. Then no. I blew. No, I didn't at all. I got, I got a mug. Not, well, not at all like that, but uh, okay. a saucepan and threw um, some water on it to put the flames out. Yeah. This is a very interesting mug. It's Freudian. It's, it's about my penis. Oh, is yeah. it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I'm not sure what it's what saying. What does it mean if I do that? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, goodness. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's got yeah. a mug like yours. Yeah, he has, yeah. He's, he actually lives in West Hollywood. He does. <laughs> Yeah, babe. Yeah, yeah. He's looking rather malnourished. No, no, he's a dead. Is he? Uh, he's oh. a, no, he's a, he's a reanimated skeleton. Could, haven't you uh, ever seen American television? I, d I haven't seen a lot of skeletons with mohawks on American TV. Well, it's, it's only the Apart beginning. Okay. You, you'll see more it's as time goes on. Breed. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. A new breed. No, it's, it's, a, a <laughs> it's a whole new thing. It's like the digital revolution. It's, you know, uh, it, the internet started as a skeleton robot. <laughs> Are you on the internet? Do you have a do you have a Twitter or anything? No, I don't. Oh, I you should. Do you, know. do you Twitter? Do yeah, you I do. I've got the tweeties. Yeah, I I uh, I go on and I you know and I I write things. Funny things or just no no. no. <laughs> Do you try to be funny? No, no, no. no I just, what is I, it? What you had for breakfast? Or uh, yeah, 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 no, no. no. <laughs> for example, though, if I had, you know, set my kitchen on fire yes. and I was making pasta, yes. then I would have, you know, taken a photograph of that as it was happening. The flames. The flames. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, put that uh, on for entertainment of for people that hate me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do no, that. No, no, you're probably right. I don't think I'm going to do that. probably Yes, I probably would have caught my hair on fire trying to get a picture of myself. Yeah, well, see, now you don't want then you'd have yes. to wear that red wig yes. again. Yes. Now you're buried. Now, listen, tell me this. Tell me this. Um, what are you going to... What's the film about? Oh, God, yeah, the, the film. film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The film is about... It's Cameron Diaz is the bad teacher. Never heard of her. Yeah, she's... Um, <laughs> I can't think of any movies she's been in, but right. you'll... 
Oh, right. No, you're maybe recognising yeah, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. watch the movie. Anyway, so her and some guy called Justin Timberlake. Do you know him? <laughs> and... Wait, wait, wait. Are they in the movie together? Yeah. Was this were. shot a long time ago? About a year ago. Dish, girl. Dish. Oh. <laughs> well, gosh. Because this but, was after they yeah. were... Yeah. Well, you know, oh, everyone oh, asked oh. me that, but there, what, there was no... They were very good friends. It was awkward for me, because I had actually dated both of them secretly. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that. Separately. And, um... Shut and that, the front yeah. door. It's true. So it was a little awkward on set. I dumped both of them. Um, so... Yeah, it was weird, but they were they were cool about it. You are the best guest I've ever had. On. <laughs> now, this uh, relationship you had with uh, Cameron Diaz. Yes. Um, did you guys uh, ever video anything? That you were doing? We were enemies. We were enemies in the movie, and we were fighting for the affections of um, Justin Timberlake. Oh, so, boy. yeah, I don't know in what I don't universe. know what planet this would yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, Did he, fun. did he, uh, you know, because he, remember he brought Sexy back when he was doing the music? Yeah. <laughs> did, did he ever bring that to the set when you were shooting? He did brought he? so much Sexy Did he bring to the Sexy set? to he the set? He brought so much Sexy to the set. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah it was good. just a sexy filled, swamped in sexiness. <laughs> Doesn't it's sound that bad, no, then, really. It was fun. It was fun. I don't know why I broke up with him now I'm saying that. Well, um, maybe you kids can get back together, yeah, all three of you. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, that's kind of where I'm going. <laughs> Lucy, <laughs> we're out of time, my dear, but uh, would you care to join me in a mouth organ or awkward pause? Gosh, um, well... I saw Adam did the awkward pause, so he perhaps did, I, yeah. should, I should try the mouth organ. I've never done it before, but I'll give it a bash. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here, it's Thank in you. there. You can take it out. That's oh, yours. Okay. It's, it's, never been, uh, it's never been touched by human hands. Oh, okay, good. Right, there you are. Out with the organ and blow away. Uh, can you play this thing? No, I can't. Can you? No, but, you know, I'm enthusiastic. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It's not... Whoa, whoa. It's not a chew toy, Lucy. Slow down. I got overexcited. Yeah, yeah, I know, I, I understand. Excited. No, I just, uh, uh, I just like watching you do that there. Right? Uh, right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Lucy, watch everybody. Uh, well, uh, I'd like to thank my guests, uh, Adam Goldberg and Lucy Punch. I probably uh, thank Lucy more than Adam. <laughs> like, if I had a choice of how to thank them and a way of thanking them, Adam, I'd be like... Uh, <laughs> Him. He's good. He's, he's my bud, but no. I've never seen that girl before, Lucy Punch. <laughs> <laughs> kind of blew my hair back a little bit, that did. I was kind of like, well, gosh darn it, I thought. I actually thought something else, but it's cuss free uh, week on the show. <laughs> and I'm really loving it. Well, shut the front door. <laughs> Good night, everyone.